Hi friends, welcome to week 27 of the Weekly Habits Project. I'm super glad you're here with me today. And we are going to have the topic of finding contentment. Oof. Finding contentment. So the passage that is given to us today is Philippians 4, 11, and 12. And I'm going to read it from the ESV and then the NLT, and then we'll get started in our study. So this is what Philippians 4, 11, and 12 says in the ESV. Not that I am speaking of being in need, for I have learned in whatever situation I am to be content. I know how to be brought low and I know how to abound in any and every circumstance I have learned the secret of, of facing plenty and hunger abundance and need and then I'll read it from the NLT and it says not that I was ever in need for I have learned how to be content with whatever I have I know how to live on almost nothing or with everything I have learned the secret of living in every situation, whether it is with a full stomach or empty, with plenty or little. So Paul is actually really showing us how to live a life of abundance, no matter our circumstance or our situation. He's a, he was a living, breathing testimony of God's great love and passion. So the context for this section, it's actually for Philippians um, 4, and it's 10 to 13. So it's a little bit of a, a couple added on verses there. So Philippians 4, um, 10 to 13. And Paul is talking, i just turned here. Paul is talking to the Philippian Christians. Um, through them, God had met Paul's needs, and no matter how his circumstances changed, Paul had this like inner contentment, this ease that everything was going to be okay, and that knowing God would take care of him. In Philippians 4.13, that's usually a really um, famous passage, um, a favorite for many, and of course that reads... For I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. I could have said it by memory, but I just wanted to make sure that I had it accurately. So this is the NLT. Um, and so it says, For I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. So it's an abundance through God and that God gave him strength. So God is the source of our strength. So if we're looking at this to see how it can apply to us. God is the source of our strength through our tough times or our trials. So I actually want to read in 2 Corinthians 12, 9. Let's see if I can turn there. 2 Corinthians 12, 9. And it says, each time he said, my grace is all you need. My power works best in weakness. So now I am glad to boast about my weaknesses so that the power of Christ can work through me. So when we struggle and turn our burdens to Christ, he has the opportunity to show his great power in and through our lives. He becomes our strength. And as as we saw that in 2 Corinthians 12, 9, it's in our weakness. He is strong. And I want to read in 1 Timothy um, 1, 12. And again, this is Paul speaking in this. 1 Timothy 1, 12. And it says this. I thank Christ Jesus for our Lord. I thank Christ Jesus, our Lord, who has given me strength to do his work. He considered me trustworthy and appointed me to serve him. So 
I want to be sure that we thank God for giving us the strength like he gave Paul. Paul stepped into his calling to share the gospel and he was appointed by God. This week, our habit is finding contentment. I want you to think about your situation. The one that you sit in right now. How are you showing contentment? What does that look like in your life? What is God doing right now to show his power in your weakness? These are all questions that actually take a moment to kind of think up and, and understand in our own lives. And so it's important that we sit with it for a minute. God calls us to do a work for him. And even though our circumstances and our situations might be tough, we might be struggling. We might have financial issues. We might have spousal issues. We might have parenting issues. Whatever issues you're dealing with, medical, sickness, whatever it is, we all have a calling. And we should approach God with such gratitude for giving us that calling to go and serve and love others. And sometimes it might, we might think that we can't because of the circumstance we're in. But if we think about what God has done already in our lives and then share it with just one person, that's doing exactly what he's asked us to do. So think about your situation and sit with it right now. How are you showing contentment? How do you have inner peace? And this is not like the inner peace uh, that you can bring to yourself. This is an inner peace that only God can give. What does that look like for you? For Paul, it was abundance. It can be abundance for you too. Maybe some of you are facing struggles with unknown outcomes. Like I said, medical, financial, parenting, marriage. I challenge you this week to seek God. And I want you to claim the verse, Matthew 6, 33. And it reads this. Seek the kingdom of God above all else and live righteously and he will give you everything you need. Claim that verse. Seek him out. Live righteously and claim that he will give you everything that you need. Ask God to help you to receive that inner contentment like Paul. I can attest that I have had some really upset feelings today. Today. I've had them in the past. I've had them yesterday probably. But any time that I stop and seek God, asking him to take my burdens, to carry them on his broad, powerful shoulders, to be present in my life, in my weakness, to show his power and his strength in my life, I know I can have inner peace and I, I will have an inner peace every time I trust him with all of my burdens, with all of my cares. And I, I challenge you to do that and find contentment this week. All right, let's pray. Dear gracious Holy Father, Lord, sometimes we have inner turmoil that we're battling between right and wrong. We're battling between knowing what to do in certain circumstances. Or we might be battling our finances, battling our spouses, battling our parenting, medical issues, whatever, Lord, it may be. I pray 
that you relieve us of our burdens and become the most powerful and mighty God in our lives. That you show us your abundance and inner peace. Grant us that inner peace, Lord, that we can go throughout the rest of our day and the rest of the week knowing what a great God we serve. And not only that, Lord, help us to step into our calling for what you want us to do, to love others, to believe in you, have faith in you, and share others what you have done in our lives. I ask you, Lord, to bless each person here and guide their steps and their ways, helping them to find that inner contentment, just as Paul did. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Blessings.